We're broadcasting live from the Dirty South Dome in Atlanta, Georgia, where it's so humid you can drink the air. You know what? You can drink the air, Grim. I'll stick with my cough syrup and scotch with a beer chaser, thank you. While we're on the subject, anyone seen my airplane go or whip cream? Today's matchup promises severed limbs and ruined careers and lots of lots of beers. The Motor City Maniacs battle the Atlanta Vultures. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrow with you on MFL Game Day. Hey, uh, Bricks, do you smell something burning? Ah, thanks for reminding me. I left my rubber foot in the toaster oven to warm it up. Last time I left it there too long, it came out like soggy hockey. Opa! Uh huh. It's freezing in here. Hey, why don't you take a shampoo and ouzo? Stick your head in the toaster oven. That'll warm you up. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hi. Welcome to the Grind Rage. How can I help you? Yeah. If you don't think you can make the interception, batting it down is the next best thing. Great advice, Grim. That receiver's gonna go far in this league if he listens to you. I wasn't talking to. Yeah, never mind. Yes, Brick. He will. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Oh, great tackle! When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely. In Third down and eight. It's a good interception. What's that, Grim? A fabulous interception. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. He's at the 30. The tw it is such bullshit. This game is bucket rigged. I tell you, the programmers are speeding up the defense. I'm going to write an email to that fucker. And it's first and ten. And he just wrestles away from... Oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. And they say at the deli, who's next? Oh, uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. That's the way to move the chains. That's good with the vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwong Galaxy phone. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. say maybe three yards but a tough three yards second down and seven hot, hot one hot two hot, hot, hot. well that play didn't work we'll have to rethink that and that'll bring up third down and seven and the defense gets another pick. Man, oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep, third grade. Sister Mary Margaret and our ladies of holy hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. And it's first and ten. Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot.
And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two. Hot. And he was stuck to him like glue. Second down and ten. Hot, hot one. Hot. So much for the bombs way dirty trick on that play. Didn't fool the defense for a second. Third down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot. Man, what a hit that was. Bingo, bingo. I just hit that mutant bingo. And all I was missing was his number for the last three plays. Talk about luck. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. And there's another pick. And oh, a vicious hit. And the ref will have to administer left. Is that right, Glenn? That penalty makes no sense. It's something ain't kosher here, and I'm not talking about the corned beef with extra mayo. You do me tell you, are you? First down and inches. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot. Especially since they're fake. Go to dirty tricks and hit the tag ramp. It feels good. They're back up here on first. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. First down and forever. Hot, hot one, hot two. And the QB might as well just bury himself now because and another interception. This quarterback is going to listen to Joy Division and weep tonight. Oh, man, he boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm going to go grab one. You want anything? Yeah, I'm still working on my salami here, Briggs. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. Second down in a lot. When the defense calls Thunderclap, the offense is toast. Oh, did he ever get zapped? Reminds me, you ever hear that Zappa song, Watch Out Where the Huskies Go? Don't you eat that yellow snow? When I was a kid, I always ate the yellow snow. They were like lemon snow cones. But them fudge ice cream sandwiches, eh, they didn't taste so good. And they'll keep the drive alive as he rifles it in there and picks up seven yards. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. And that punter gets paid way too much to kick. And he just lets that one go. He says, no, thank you. And the defense downs it. And it's first and ten. Hot one. Hot. Ah, another interception. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my offseason. Hey, you see that 
move, baby. No, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> And it's first and ten. Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know where I'm at. Oh, what a hit. Hey, Briggs, what does it feel like to get hit like that? Uh, like being dropped off a 10-story building with a refrigerator strapped to your back and landing on a fire hydrant. Yeah, great analogy. Oh, no, no, that really happened. Cod game got a little out of hand last night. You can't have five aces. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using. If they were in... Oh, come on, that was a cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so are the fans. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Oh, the defender lays down a wicked hit and knocks the ball loose. The receiver just got smashed. Not as bad as me last night. He may be dead, but trust me, he's in better shape than I am right now. Oh, geez, here it comes. Blah. Third down, and the punter is warming up. And that's the kind of play you pay the secondary for. You pay him for the pick six. For this, you just give him a pat on the head and tell him they don't suck. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is in palm grip. That cross-stitching, unbelievable. No return on this punt. The defense will just down it. I can't tell if he's smart or scared. Either way, the ball is down. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two. And he was steering a pick six, but dropped the interception. That is why he's on defense, schmuck. Second down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot. A nice run there for eight yards. Third and two. One, hot two, hot, hot, hot. And this guy's like a human cannonball. First down. Oh, no, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I got to see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I hope they have raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. At this point, with multiple interceptions, oh, with the punishing hit. The fans are looking a bit bored. After a quarter with no score, they're cheering on the refs. <laughs> At least someone's moving the ball. And it's first and ten. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. hit that was and that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size because he just walked all over him and it's first and ten boom dead and down he just sent a message with that hit yeah the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's gonna kill you but then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him i'm uh, going in circles It's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot. 
Nicely done for a first down. And it's first and ten. trick that'll wake you up and then put you to sleep permanently you snooze you lose unless you're in a sleeping contest second and three hot, hot one hot two hot, hot. he was stuffed at the line of scrimmage oh that was totally uncalled for and that's why we love the mfl <laughs> The offense lost another running back and only two remain on their roster. When a team loses all their running backs, they lose their ability to run the ball. Yeah, like if I rip out your tongue, you won't be able to speak. Tell us something we don't know, genius. First and four. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot eight. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> the kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. And it's first and ten. Hey, didn't your mother ever tell you don't run with a chainsaw? Great run for a nine-yard gain. The ref that just called that penalty, he was convicted of marrying old ladies and stealing their savings. That sounds like a good job. He's right at home here taking money from coaches, players, and fans. I even saw him swiping money from the bathroom attendant. Yeah, who don't do that? And it's first and ten. Just got crushed. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two. Eight. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. The offense is down to their last running back. When he bites the dust, they can only pass. Yeah, well, at least they don't have to forfeit, man. That's right, but now the defense can focus on killing the receivers. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. NFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8, the greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Well. Second down and long. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not yawn. And that'll bring up third and one. And that's another pick. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? Yo, seriously, man. You think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? I will wreck your world. You understand me, Junior? I'll wreck your world. And it's first and ten. And the defense 
Jones went over on the quarterback with a sticky ball dirty trick. The only thing the QB can do now is run for his life. Or die. <laughs> Second down in a very lot. Nice pass. That catch is good for six yards. Third down and, well, good luck. He rifled that one in there and they come up with 10 yards on the play. Well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, that well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on here. And he's got to... Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. This guy's a brick sh That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten. Hot. One, hot two, two minutes remain in the half. Wait, I gotta take a dump. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. And with another, oh, that's a vicious hit, and the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant me. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. And it's first and ten. If you don't hear it coming, his cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. And they stop the clock with their first time out to try and stay in this game. Oh, nice coaching move there. Hall of Fame caliber. Well, I mean, it's a pretty standard coaching move at this point of the game. I won't listen to this blasphemy. Oh, great play. He is on that receiver like glue. You know, when I was little, my dad used to make me eat glue. My tongue would get stuck to the roof of my mouth, and I couldn't talk. Your father was a very smart man, Bricks. Very smart. And there's another pick. Man, this... Good night, Irene. You ever get hit in the face with a shovel, Graham? I have. And trust me, the hit that guy just took was worse. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot three. Now, I'm not sure who he was throwing to on that play. Second down and ten. Hot... Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. And he'll throw that one out of bounds. Third down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. Oh, great play by the defense. The receiver didn't stand a chance. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. And he put all of his foot into that one. He's got... Oh, mama! He just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. And it's first and ten. And the defense gets another pick. Man, oh, he got mugged. More like a mafia hit. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. That pass play nets them seven yards. Oh, no. I got the... 
hiccups again. What are you supposed to do to get... Under two minutes of timeout means the QB is playing beat the clock, and he better win. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing as a hurry-up offense, you moron. I am... And I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. <laughs> and it's first and ten. And that's another turnover for the defense. It's a touchdown! It shouldn't be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It's good. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. I turned out the light. It wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chick wearing a wig. He broke free and has open field in front of him. The 30. And that was equal. And whoever said never hit a man when he's down is just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. The burn returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. And the offense goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game. And then Cash will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed the carnage during today's halftime show. Obviously, they need to play a lot harder here in the second half to make a game of it. Or they can start cheating and killing. That's what I do. Hey, man, I was going to kill him now. You know, man. <laughs> they need a good return here to set up the offense. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Brick. It means he can return it for You know what? Never mind. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, eight. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my off season. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot eight. Roid Rage, how do you like your brains? Scrambled or fried? One Roid Rage breakfast special. A lot of guys talk about stepping up their game, Bricks. He just stepped up and blew up. <laughs> He's got a lot of guts, doesn't he? And you can see the grounds crew cleaning him up now. Hot potato gets him every time. Second down and ten. Does the QB know which team he's on? Oh, nice hit! The coach isn't liking that call. Oh, oh his head just exploded. What a miss, what a miss. He's got shit. He's got And it's first and ten. It's a jailbreak. And the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Oh, oh crowd's loving it. And 
It's first and ten. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your aunt. A man from prison just came out of the field. That's the ref, idiot. Oh. Let's see what the penalty is. First and four. And the back gets in there and swats the ball away. He can't catch, but he sure can swat. And that'll be second down and four. And the throw, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. And it's first and ten. Wow, he took like a thousand volts of shock there. They did that to my Aunt Lizzie because she thought she was the reincarnation of Lizzie Ward the Ant Smiler. Did the shock treatment work? Well, after she killed four of the doctors and zapped her, they never bothered her again. So, yeah, I, I guess it worked for her. Second down and two. First and ten. And that's another pick. Man, oh man, the defense. And he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jet, you son of a bitch. Well, that's a strange penalty called right there. I'm sad to notice that this ref likes talking, and he don't make much sense. No, but he's making a lot of dollars. First down and less than a yard. Defense had enough with this ref and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> and it's first and ten. I don't know whose eyes the cute. Oh, great tackle! When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a car for at home. And it's first and ten. First and ten. And with a you can't keep a good meal. Oh, with the brain scrambler. And it's first and ten. And another interception. This quarterback is going to listen to Joy Division and weep tonight. And he's off to the races. Boom to the moon. Another loser bites the dust. In the NFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. And he put the 
jets on and caught him from behind. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. That was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but they're not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? And the cornerback throws another... Oh, he just got crushed! Hey, man, nobody can touch you with an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, Bob? First and ten. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Ah, I don't think you can say that, Grim. Oh, boy. And it's first and ten. First and ten. First down! He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. First down of seven. The defender says, I don't think so. Second down and seven. And the defense gets in. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And it's first and ten. for no gain. And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. Nice punt. Should move them back nicely. Nice catch. And he turns on the afterburners. Punt returners in this league have a life. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. First and ten. And another interception. This quarterback, he's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. And, the, oh, and he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. First and ten. At this point with multiple. Oh, 
with the brutal hit. First and ten. And he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jets, you son of a bitch. And that brings us to the end of the third quarter. They'll need to fire on all cylinders to make a comeback in the final quarter. And it's first and ten. Another pick. Man, rough day. Take that. What a finish. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. And it's first and ten. Someone better buy this guy dinner tonight because he just saved a touchdown with that tackle. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. And he scores! And here comes the extra point attempt. Straight through the uprights. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know why. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? There's a bloody red head on the field. Now that's their red penalty marker, Briggs. Looks like this one's coming back. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. Catch the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. said they'd blow up the defense today. <laughs> he was right. Kapow! Second down and ten. And he snags it for six! Touchdown! Touchdown! Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. Let's see if they can 
can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. And the offense goes into the hurry up formation to try to conserve time. Oh, what a brutal hit! Second down and two. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. Boom, they'll be scraping his pieces off the field for months after that hit. Yeah, you have to admire him, Grim. He really leaves his heart on the field. And his liver, and his lungs, oh, and his skull. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the end like Brick. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. Touchdown! And he rumbles that one into the end zone. Nicely done. I can't run like that unless it's Cooper on night at Taco Hell. He has better footwork, though, than me. I'm kind of not clenching his cheeks, though. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimme. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. Here comes the defense. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. You know, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It's good. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. And it's first and ten. And they line up for the extra point. Straight through the uprights. They need a good return here to set up the offense. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. He's 
Cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. And it's first and ten. First and ten. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. Oh, mama. Just call him Cap and Crunch. Another one bites the dust. First and ten. And the quarterback calls a sonic blast, dirty trick, and throws a super. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. The offense is running low on receivers. They have only two left. They might consider running the ball more. And it's first and ten. And that's some good old-fashioned downhill running as he picks up nine yards on... Oh, my God! A man from prison just came out of the field! That's the ref, you idiot. Let's see what the penalty is. The offense has only two quarterbacks remaining on the roster. They better be careful because when those guys die, it's forfeit city. First down and one. Chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. He refuses to go down. He broke free and has open field in front of him. He's hit the 40. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Uh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. And it's first and ten. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get... Oh, that's a vicious hit, and the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. And it's first and ten. catches and watch his confidence take a ref goes a penalty you know the mfl has eliminated almost every penalty in the rule book and yet it still feels like there's way too many penalties stupid jerks you guys suck the offense is down to their final receiver they'll be playing shorthanded for the rest of the game uh, and if they lose him will they have to forfeit uh, talk about pressure i'm gonna have to take the value before this one ends hey y'all been out on me And 
And it's first and ten. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must have learned a lot about sharing when he was in school. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Uh, I don't think you can say that, Graham. Oh, he's at the 20. He's at the 10. Man, this guy is a game breaker. He picks off the QB and returns the ball for a touchdown. That's how you do it at home, kids. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no... Boom. Oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. In a hurry-up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grit. Smart move there, stopping the clock with their first time out. And for all you know, maybe he's just stalling or wiring the ref some cash. When in a hurry-up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. And with another pick, the QB says, I don't know how to throw in or... Boom! win this one. It was one hell of a slugfest. That was worth the price of admission, right, guys? Well, I paid for admission. I expect girls dancing on a pole or something. Girls, man, I want a lap dance. You don't even have a lap, you little freakazoid. Follow me. Let's see what the MVP has to say about today's outcome. Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.